Hi everybody, I'm Cassandra, and I've got another tapping video for you today. And this one's a little bit longer than usual. It's kind of a long script, but I think it'll give us the opportunity to go really deep. So let's go ahead and just get started. And my suggestion right now is maybe to even hit pause on the video and grab yourself a sheet of paper and a pen so that you can answer some questions before we start our tap. So go ahead and do that. And then you can play again when you're ready. And we'll answer some questions just to bring some stuff up to the surface so that when we tap, we're already feeling the feelings, okay? So the first question that I'll ask you is, what do you call your issue? So what is it that you wanna tap on so this tap doesn't have its own theme. You can actually decide the theme of the tap, so then that way you can actually use this script over and over again on all different things, all kinds of different things. So what do you call your issue? And the next question then is, what emotions are you having the most trouble with? So when you think about your issue, what are the challenging emotions that come up for you? And some examples would be grief, anger, sadness, uh, guilt, shame, uh, frustration, disappointment. And, and numb is a feeling when we're doing tapping. So if there's, you're not quite sure how you feel, but, but numb comes up for you, then go ahead and choose numb. So go ahead and pick your top three emotions. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and rate them by number. So when you're feeling really upset and these emotions are coming up specifically rated, related to this issue, go ahead and give them a rating. So one being not really much of an issue, 10 being like a big deal. Like this is really, really bothering me and I feel really worked up from it. Okay, so go ahead and rate each of the three. Don't think too hard about it. Whatever number comes up, it's all good. And then what do you think about this issue in a negative way? So what are some, some things that you say to yourself in your head when you're having that conversation in relation to this issue? Um, it could also be beliefs, limiting beliefs that you have. For example, I'm not good enough, or I'm really bad at this, or this keeps happening, or... Um, uh, anything anything upsetting I can't do it there's a lots of there's lots of them so whatever works for you go ahead and pick maybe two or three different ones and you can write those down and again don't think too hard about it just whatever comes up for you that's what it is that's the right answer and now we're going to shift gear a little bit where in your body do you feel it so what does it feel like? Meaning some people feel anxiety in their chest and it feels really tingly and hot. Uh, some people feel anger in their jaw and it feels tight. Um, so go ahead in your top three emotions. If you sense something in your body when you're feeling those feelings, go ahead and write that down where it is and what the sensation is. Okay. And then who do you blame for this issue, right? Who do you hold responsible? It might be yourself. It might be the world around you. It might be um, a person who hurt you. It might be a situation. It might be a parent. And I know some of us have been doing spiritual work and we're kind of in this place where we know that blaming doesn't really support our lives and doesn't really work. But let's just tune into the part of us that if we're being really honest, who do we blame? Okay, and it might be you. So just go ahead and maybe have more than one person too. And then just to piggyback on that question, who in your family has a similar issue? And it might be the same person as um, you named above. Uh, if you named yourself, then who else modeled this problem or where did you see this problem come up? 
go ahead and uh, name them. And then what does your culture say? What does your culture say about this issue, the media, or what are the messages that you've heard around you about your issue? And let's go with negative stuff, the things that um, are kind of feeling like they're holding you back, or those voices in your head, um, you know, that sort of thing. And then once you get all that stuff down, so that's kind of focusing on the negative, which is really why EFT works. We focus on the negative, we tap, and then we practice reframing it and releasing. And I've got two more questions, and they're, how do you want to feel? So this is the positive stuff. How do you want to feel? What are you really wishing for? What are you hoping for? How do you want your life to actually be? And then if this issue went away completely, if, we're, if we were able to just clear this issue away and it was not a part of your life anymore, how would your life be? What would your life be like if that issue was gone? And you might even want to pause the video again and take a couple moments to, to fantasize and to write down and to get excited about what your life would be like if this was completely gone. Okay. Perfect. And now we're going to get started on our tab. And I've got a little script here for us. And we're going to go through the tapping points. And for those of you who've never done them before, let me show you real quick what the tapping points are. So we'll start with our chest. Just tapping on the chest. That's one spot. The next spot is here where our ribs jut out, right in front, tapping there. And then we have the sides of our ribs here kind of under our underarms. And then we'll move up here to our wrist. It doesn't matter which hand you do it on. If you want to switch hands, you can do that as well. And then here on the thumb where our nail and our fingertip meet each other, right here on the side, like the corner there. Same spot on the index finger. Then we have the same spot on the middle finger. Then we actually switch to the other side of the ring finger. And then we go back to the inside on the pinky. Good. And then karate chop side of the hand. Then the head, top of the head. And we have meridian points all over our head. So you can tap all over your head if that feels nice to you. Then we have our forehead in between the eyebrows. Good, then we have our temples, and here on the cheeks under the eyes. I usually take my glasses off, so if you wear glasses, you can take them off. And then under your nose, and under your lips, and then we'll go back to the chest, and we'll just cycle through, okay? I'm already feeling a little released just from that little tap. <laughs> Feels great. Yeah, so first, before we get to tapping, we're gonna massage here on the emotional well. So right in here under our collarbone, we're gonna massage there. And let's do a big deep breath. We're gonna sigh out the exhale and we'll do that a few times today in our tap. So big deep breath in. And let it out. Good, and let's do another one. Perfect. Okay, and now tapping on our chest. This issue, so now you're gonna say what you wrote down. This issue, let's say the issue, repeating after me. This issue, this issue of, good. This issue makes me think and now say your top three thoughts. This issue makes me think. Good, we'll go down to the ribs. And now when I think, and say your top three thoughts, when I think it makes me feel, and now you'll say your top three emotions, it makes me feel, top three emotions, now big deep breath in. Clear it out. Good. 
good. And now here on the sides of the ribs, I've been feeling really, again, say your top three emotions, repeat again. I've been feeling really, good. I've been feeling really, good. So we're just gonna keep repeating things. And it's been really hard for me. So I'll move to the wrist. It's been really hard for me. Good, big deep breath. Clear it out. <sighs> Good. And it's perfectly understandable that I've been feeling this way. Good. Repeating again. It's perfectly understandable that I've been feeling this way. And we'll go up to the thumb. I've been feeling, again, top three emotions. I've been feeling... Good, big deep breath. Clear it out. <sighs> Next finger. Even though I've been feeling, good, even though I've been feeling, top three emotions, even though I've been feeling, I love and accept myself. Good, I love and accept myself. Let me say that one more time. Even though I've been feeling, Top three emotions, I love and accept myself. Good, big deep breath in. Clear it out. <sighs> nice. And then we'll go to our next finger. But I still feel like this. Let's say it again, but I still feel like this. And I haven't been able to let this go. Just repeating that. I haven't been able to let this go. So now we're going to tune in. You can close your eyes if that feels nice to you. Tune in to that part of you that just really hasn't been able to let it go. We're going to feel those emotions that you've been talking about. And it's very common in EFT to yawn or cry. So if you feel like yawning, I might even yawn during the video. If you feel like yawning or crying, allow it. Allow it to move because that means the energy is moving. So that's great. That's good for us. Good. So now we're going to tap here on the other side of our index finger. And I still haven't been able to let this go. Good. And it's perfectly understandable. Go ahead and repeat that again. It's perfectly understandable that I haven't been able to let this go. I've had this issue for a long time. Good, and so now we're gonna think about how long we've had this issue for. How long have you had this issue? Just tune into that. And we'll start tapping on the pinky. I've had this issue for a long time. Good, big deep breath. Clear it out. <sighs> nice. And now we're going to think back to the first time or maybe the most memorable time that we felt this way. Thinking back to either the first time or the most memorable time that we felt this way. And let's breathe. Clear it out. <sighs> Good. Okay, and now tapping on the karate chop side of the hand here. Now you're either going to speak it out loud or you're going to play the memory like a movie in your mind. So play by play with details. Go ahead and speak out loud this memory. Tell this memory. all the details and if you even need to pause the video you can go ahead and pause the video big breath clear out <sighs> perfect now i'm gonna start tapping on the head now bring yourself back to the most upsetting part of that memory Good, the part of the memory that's most upsetting for you, let's close the eyes, we're gonna feel into it. 
So feel into it as you talk to your head, feel into where you were, what it felt like, what was happening. Breathe in, clear out. Good. And I'll go ahead and repeat this. I was feeling really, and name how you were feeling. I was feeling really, again, I was feeling really good. Hopping on the forehead between the eyebrows. I was feeling really good. Big deep breath. Clear it out. And I understand why I felt this way. I understand why I felt this way. And I'll go ahead and speak to that. Why did you feel this way? Go ahead and say why. Why you felt this way. Good. And now close your eyes. Start tapping on your temples. And you're going to feel into it. Replay that moment in your mind. Right? And feel it. Feel what it was like. Whatever was coming up for you in that moment, the intensity, the emotion. Good. And now we're tapping here on under our eyes. Hmm. Good. And now think about how upset you were. And let's tune in. What did you really need in that moment that you didn't get? You're going to say that out loud. What did you really need in that moment that you didn't get? Good. And repeating. I really needed. And again, I really needed. Then it will go under the nose. But I didn't get it. We'll say that again. I really needed. And I didn't get it. One more time. I really needed, and I didn't get it. Good. I didn't get what I needed. And that makes me feel, we're going to feel into that. So I didn't get what I needed. And that makes me feel, go ahead and say how it made you felt to not get what you needed. Good. And tapping under the lips. Feel into that. How did that feel to know that you needed something and that you still weren't getting it, right? Good. And now tapping on the chest, even though I feel, and you'll say those feelings, even though I feel I love and accept myself. And we'll say it again. Even though I feel I love and accept myself. Big breath in. Clear it out. Good. Really good. Now tapping on the ribs. Now we're going back into that memory. See yourself. So you're seeing the past version of yourself. How you felt then. Not getting what you needed. Tuning into that. And now here in this place, we are going to call on a loving being, maybe your highest self, maybe a guardian angel, maybe someone else who gives you comfort. And this being is going to come into the scene and give you exactly what you needed in that moment that you didn't get. So go ahead and close your eyes, and in your mind's eye, you're going to imagine this happening. And let's start tapping on the sides of the ribs and do a big deep breath as you're imagining. Inhale. And exhale. Good. And we're still tapping on the ribs. So now speak this vision out loud. What's happening? What did you really need? And give that to yourself in this vision. Allow that being to give that to you in this vision. Good. And then we're going to start tapping on our wrists. And repeat. I really needed. 
I really needed good and I'm giving it to myself now good so tapping on this I'm gonna say that again I really needed and I'm giving this to myself now I'm giving myself and you'll say that again what is it that you're giving yourself and next finger I can give this to myself now and feel into it give yourself that love that comfort that nurturing whatever it was that you needed give it to yourself in your mind's eye keep tapping we'll go to the next finger I'm giving myself and go ahead and repeat again what it is you're giving yourself I'm giving myself good and that feels really and that feels really so how does it feel to give yourself what you needed how does that feel and just speak it out that feels really and tapping the other side of the ring finger it feels really good feel into it let it wash over you and we're gonna have a big deep breath here <sighs> Good, good, one more. <sighs> okay. Tapping on the pinky. Now it feels like it might be possible for me to move past this issue. And we'll say that again. Now it feels like it might be possible for me to move past this issue. Right? And tapping on the karate chop side of the hand. I might be able to let this issue go now. I might be able to let this issue go now. Breathe. Clear it out. Good. Tapping on the head. Part of me wants to let it go. Good. Feeling that part. Part of me really wants to let this go. And part of me still wants to keep it. Good, and part of me still wants to keep it. So now we're tapping on the forehead. Go ahead and switch to your forehead. And part of me is scared to let it go. And if scared is not the word you would use, go ahead and repeat that phrase using the word that you would use. So part of me is feeling about letting this go. Good. Tapping on the temple. So now we're tuning into the part of you that is afraid to let it go. Breathe. Clear out. Good. So there's still some part of you that is holding on. And you're going to speak it out loud. Why don't you want to let this go? Why don't you want to let this go? Good. Tapping under your eyes. Good, and now even though I'm not ready to let this go, even though I'm not ready to let this go, I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. We're gonna say it again. Even though I'm not ready to let this go, I love and accept myself. Good, breathe. Clear it out. One more. Clear it out. Good. Okay, tapping under the nose. It's really scary. It's really scary. I don't know what my life would be like if I let this go. So tuning into that. Tuning into the fear or whatever emotions are present for you. I don't know what my life would be like if I let this go. Uncertainty. What does that bring up? Moving forward in the future. Big deep breath. Clear out. And then tapping under the lips. 
good. And now, now we're gonna give ourselves full permission to stay like this. So we can stay like this forever if we want to, right? And repeat, tapping on the heart. I never have to let this go. I never have to let this go. You can't make me. You can't make me let go of this. Good, breathe. Clear it out. Good, so now we're gonna feel into that. Tapping under, um, tapping on our ribs right here, the front of the ribs. So feeling into that, what would it be like if we stayed like this another five years? What would it be like if we stayed like this another five years? So closing the eyes, tuning in, and feeling that. And if you want to speak it out loud, what would it be like? How would you be? Feel into it. It's imagining. Good. And now we'll tap on the sides of the ribs here. And we're gonna keep holding on, because we want to, for another 10 years. So we're holding on to this issue for 10 more years. Here we are 10 years in the future. So really feel it. What would that be like? Keep tapping. Good, take a big deep breath. <sighs> Clear it out. So now, now we're taking this 20 years into the future. So 20 years have gone by and you're still like this, only it's worse because it's been 20 years. So this issue and this pattern and this same old stuff has been brewing inside of you. The rut is deeper, the emotions are stronger, right? And it's 20 years later, so feel it. Don't hold back, let yourself feel into that. What would that be like? Great, now we're gonna start tapping on the wrist and breathe, clear it out. <sighs> Good. <sighs> so now you've stayed like this your whole life and you're on your deathbed. You're getting ready to die, you're on your deathbed. You're still like this, you're still playing small. You're still scared, you're still holding yourself back, you're still angry and bitter and stubborn. Fail into the guilt and the regret on your deathbed, this issue. Yep, big deep breath. Let it go. One more. Good, tapping on the thumb. So what do you think? You want to let it go? You ready? Ready to let it go? Okay, let's try it. Let's see if we're ready. Are you ready to let this go? Yes or no? Most people say yes, so we're going to go with yes. If you're on no, I would suggest tapping through that same little thing one more time. Let's rewind the video. <laughs> Do it again. We're going to tap on our next finger for yes. You want to let this go. I'm ready to let this go now. I am ready to let this go now. Okay. Next finger. I'm ready to step into my new life. I'm ready to step into my new life. I'm ready to be, and here's where you talk about how you want to feel, what you want your life to be like. I am ready to be whatever that is, powerful, loving, connected. One more time. I'm ready to be, that's right, good. Big breath. Clear it out. And opposite side of the ring finger here. I'm letting this go now. I am so letting this go. I'm letting this go now. Say it again. I'm letting this go now. Good. I am ready to be big. I'm ready to make my life awesome. Tapping on the pinky. 
And I'm ready for, and now you say your vision, you're ready for what your life would be like without this issue. Since you're letting it go, it's totally gone. What would your life be like? I am ready for, and a big deep breath. <sighs> yes. Karate chop side of the hand. I am really doing this. Again, I am really doing this. I am so doing this. I can do this. Tapping on the head. I am powerful. That's right. I am amazing. I can do this. I can do this. I can live the life of my dreams. Good, and now we're gonna just start tapping all over our whole body. So go ahead and tap all over your whole body, and you're gonna say five affirmations. Five affirmations, five things that feel good to you to say to yourself that you believe about yourself. Tapping everywhere, tap your whole body, your five affirmations. Yes, keep tapping, take a big deep breath. Good, and now we're gonna shake the whole body. You can stand up if that feels nice to you. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Oh, shake, 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 shake your arm, shake your legs, your face. Good, big breath. Arms up, inhale. And down. One more. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Good. Perfect. And now we're going to give ourselves a little bit of quiet time. So we're resetting our nervous system. So I would suggest you can keep them, you can keep the video going. I would suggest if, if you're in a chair, you can sit back in your chair and soften and relax. Close your eyes. And tune into your breath. Let your breath come easily and smoothly. Let your breath soften your body. Feeling your breath move through you all the way down into your belly. And the inhale. And leaving the breath, the chest softens on the exhale. Good. So we're going to have a few more moments of quiet time, of softness, settling in. And when you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes if they're closed. And we'll just very gently reawaken. And that's, that's the end of this tap. It was my intention to serve you, to support you in your life. And I am committed to supporting you and serving you in your life. So thank you so very much for allowing me the privilege of supporting you with this tap. You know how to get a hold of me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to check in. And I look forward to the next one. Thank you. Namaste.